Is your hot tub just not getting hot enough for you? It's actually a federal mandate that hot tubs cannot go over 104 degrees and with new modern uh, temperature control panels they actually are pretty good at stopping at 104 degrees. Used to be with old hot tubs you could kind of uh, fudge them up there a little bit but new ones they stop at 104 degrees and they just stick there. So if you want to get a little bit hotter I'm going to show you how to do that in this video here. Um, I've actually got three videos in the series. The first video is on uh, Sundance spas before 2009. It's actually really easy on a Sundance spa. If you have one of those spas, check out video number one. This video is the second video. I'm going to show you how to do it with resistors. This is by far the best and the most reliable method, and it'll work across most hot tub brands. And the third video will be kind of like some kind of like hokey backdoor methods you can do if you don't want to mess with the electronics or uh, mess with any kind of uh, wires or anything like that. But I would recommend this video for most people. If you're not comfortable with electronics, get your, uh, your Uncle Bob or your neighbor Ted that's always using your hot tub anyways. Anyone that's good at hobby electronics or, or some sort of electrician, um, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, what you're going to need to do this, uh, you're going to want a soldering iron. It's not absolutely mandatory, but it is highly recommended. Uh, I'll put a link to all the stuff down in the description below. Uh, we can get some good deals on Amazon for this. If you use my links, I get a small re uh, referral fee. So, please use my links. Uh, second thing you're going to want is some uh, good heat shrink tubing. I like to use a dual wall or adhesive lined heat shrink. Uh, you're going to want some resistors. Uh, you can get a good uh, an assortment of resistors on Amazon. I'll put a link down there for those as well. We're going to be using 1K resistors or 1000 ohm resistors. Um, this will give you about 3 to 5 degrees um, higher than 104 degrees. So you get anywhere from like, you know, 107 to 109 degrees, which is good enough for most people. If you're trying to correct a problem with your temperature readout, you can actually use any variety of resistors you want. Um, you can actually do some tests, just hook them up with alligator clips, you know, test different resistances and get the right temperature for you. But the easy and quickest fix for most of you is just gonna be to grab your 1K ohm resistor. You can get these at Radio Shack, super cheap, uh, really easy to do. Uh, but if not, just uh, check out the links in the description below. A uh, good uh, torch or lighter for heating the heat shrink and some wire cutters and some solder. That's all we're gonna need today. So first things first, shut off power to your hot tub, remove your control panel cover, and then you're gonna wanna identify your temperature sensors. Most modern hot tubs have two. They have one going into the heater or near the heater. That's gonna be your high limit temperature sensor. And they have one coming into the water, usually around the filter somewhere. Um, that actually measures the water temperature, whereas this measures your high limit temperature. And the board controls the two, or monitors the two temperatures, and it, it can actually shut off the hot tub if you get too high of a delta in between the two. So you're gonna need to do this modification on both temperature sensors. So we see our high limit coming over here, and we got this wire here, and then we got our other one that goes down out and around over to the temperature sensor there. So we've identified our two temperature sensors right here. They're nice and easy to get to. Um, it might be more or less difficult on your hot tub. You're just gonna have to follow the wires and uh, find them for yourself. But once you found them, it's, uh, it's easy from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the tripod and we'll get started. Now, I have a Sundance Spa, and all I had to do was flip a bu uh, jumper over here, and I've already got my high limit increased. So I'm actually going to be showing you guys on a little test wire here, a little PC DIN header here. Um, I know it's kind of cheating, but I don't need to do this mod, so I'm just going to pretend for you guys here. So we're pretending this is my one of my temperature sensor wires. I'm going to go ahead and clip the black wire just because it matches our uh, heat shrink tubing. You could actually um, cut either one, it would not matter. You can actually do this in place. If you want to remove the, the connector from the main board, you can. That might make it a little bit easier and a little bit more accessible. 
All we're going to do is clip that wire somewhere where we have good access, right about there. Then we're going to strip off a little bit of insulation on both sides. Like so. Then we're going to take our resistor and we're going to shorten it up a little bit so we don't have all kinds of extra slack in there. We only need a little bit on each side. Alright, now we're going to take our soldering iron, clean the end off with the wet sponge. And melt a little solder on it. Oh. That was funny, I actually had my soldering iron plugged into the same circuit as the hot tub and I had shut that off. So just clean the, the extra solder off the end of your soldering iron, pull out your solder, and just melt a little bit on the tip there. Then we're, what we're going to do is uh, tin the ends of the wire. Just stick the wire on the soldering tip and touch the solder to it. That kind of prepares the ends uh, for soldering. Alright, and we're going to do the same thing with our resistor. I can do this one handed here. Now with them both tinned, uh, you won't need a whole lot of extra solder. I'm just going to hold this on here like that. I had a whole bunch of extra solder on there. Let's clean that up a little bit. Get rid of some of that extra solder on there. Kind of leaning over behind the camera here, so it's kind of an awkward angle there. I can blame it on that. All right, now we'll take our heat shrink tubing and just slide it over the hole thing, like so, and then we'll get our other end soldered. Reflex in a little bit. There we go. That's not the prettiest soldering job I've done, but I'm doing it kind of leaning over there. And we're just going to put the heat shrink over, get our torch. And heat that up. This isn't absolutely mandatory, but I like my stuff to look pretty and be protected.
Yeah, it'll make sure you never have any problems with uh, corrosion or anything. So you got that nice and protected. You're going to do the same thing with your other line. You're going to do your high limit sensor and your temperature sensor. Do that on both lines, the exact same resistor. If you're using something other than a 1K resistor, you're going to want to put the exact same one on each of the legs. Otherwise, you're going to see a, a big temperature delta there and your board might shut down the hot tub. So let's just pretend I went ahead and did both of those lines there. I'm going to plug it back into the board. And we'll turn our hot tub back on. And basically what that's doing, because these are thermosistors, that means it is a um, resistance variable temperature sensor. Um, basically as the temperature goes up, the resistance uh, increases. So by adding another resistor in there, we've increased the resistance. So the board thinks it's actually colder than it is on both legs. Um, and with a 1K resistor, that's going to be anywhere from like, you know, 3 to 6 degrees, um, which is enough for most people. If you need more than that, you can play around. Instead of going, going ahead and soldering it in there, just uh, put an alligator clip on each side to different, uh, different resistors or even maybe a potentiometer and you can actually dial it in. Um, but for most people, just get a 1K resistor, you're gonna be good. It's a nice uh, nice one hour fix. Keep in mind that this is just fooling your existing temperature readout to make it think that it's colder than it is. So your temperature up here is not gonna be accurate anymore. You're gonna to wanna to use a floating thermometer or some other thermometer if knowing the exact temperature is important to you. This is just gonna fool your computer so that you can actually increase the temperature. You might actually need to dial it down a little bit now. If you were at 104 before, you know, dial it down two or three degrees and see if you're you're right on. If you end up needing more temperature, uh, go ahead and put in like a 1.2K ohm uh, or, or even a higher ohm resistor. You can play around. Um, be sure to check out the uh, links in the description below uh, for a good set of uh, good assortment of resistors and all the stuff I used to do this fix here today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel.